Oh, we here to talk about big breasts. No, not big breasts. Pa Rule Brown. We ain't here to talk about my nigga breasts. We here to talk about another big breast. And he is allegedly, or he's been arrested, not even allegedly, for shooting an officer, a cop, six times. Now, goddamn if, oh, allegedly, my bad. Now, goddamn if he hit all of that shit, that nigga is a marksman and he should be on the Olympic team. You see that new bullshit they do? That niggas be skiing and then they hop up the ski, they be shooting shit. Bro, this nigga would be terrific. I ain't gonna lie. Some of them gun shooting stuff y'all be having in the Olympics, bro. Like archery and like when they throw like the disc in there and the nigga gotta shoot the gun. Like that bullshit. Hey, get the savages from O Block, New York, wherever. Get them, get them gun toting savages. Like, hey, listen. We need y'all niggas go do this thing. You hear me? I'm telling you the proficiency and accuracy some of these men will have. Nigga, we taking the gold. They don't respect some of the gangsters. We like, hey, the police gonna be like, yeah, we gotta lock that nigga up, but like low key, that nigga do got some good aim. Hey, listen, the Olympic. Hey, give that boy three years. We don't need his ass for the Olympics in the next four years. We'll give that boy three years. We need him out on training. We need him out on training. And tell him if he do good in the Olympic, nigga, he'll be home on probation. He ain't gonna get that eight. But anyways, enough of my Tom foolery. Let's get into the story. Hey, like, subscribe, help your boy, y'all. Help your boy grow. You know what it is. You know I'm the king. You know I talk my shit real quick. Now, Big Briss, I don't know who the fuck this nigga is. I might have come across some of his... I don't remember. I don't know, honestly. <coughs> so, let's go. So, reports state that the incident occurred when officers attempted to arrest Briss on an outstanding warrant. Yeah, fair enough. An aspiring rapper has been... Has had his superstar dreams derailed after his recent arrest. Big Briss, real name... Christopher, I'm a fuck up your last name, Epping, Eppinger, I'm going to just call you Chris, is facing serious charges related to the incident involving a shooting that occurred in Atlanta. Oh, you from Atlanta, huh? According to 11 Alive Police. Is that a news station? 11 Alive? What the fuck? Anyways, proclaimed the 22-year-old Chris is a member of the Young Stoner Life Gang. <laughs> I didn't even... Bro, honestly, was that a like gunner? Lil' Keed. Plus on it. Yo, that one nigga, bro. Duke. Duke. And another nigga. I know of another nigga. I think, I don't know if his sister on there, whoever. But yeah, there's only a couple of niggas. I don't know if Lil' God had signed there either. There's only a couple of niggas I know on fucking YSL. The rest of them niggas I don't know about. But anyways. So if he's on there, hey. I didn't know. It would make sense, but hey, I don't know his music. I might have to go check it out now. Anyways, I might have to go listen to that slang language shit to see if his name appears. But anyways, when officers moved in to arrest him, things turned to sour. Reports state that Chris had an outstanding robbery warrant, and during the attempted arrest, the aspiring rapper allegedly shot an Atlanta officer six times. Four of those bullets reportedly hit officer David Rogers in the shoulder, while the others were in his knee. Oh! A nigga shoot you in the knee if I'm who? A nigga don't want you to walk again if he shoot you in the knee. And the side of his head. Chris is facing charges related to gang activity and attempted murder. But it is unclear at this time if the charges connected to the injury of the police officer will be added in the future. Chris has been denied bond after the judge stated that he believed that the rapper is a flight risk. <coughs> Scored it. According to APD... Young Slime Life, generally known as, generally known for, root, I don't know if this is a gang, or like some young thug shit, it's probably a gang, but anyways, is known for ruthless, uh, pedestrian, and home invasion style robberies, as well as drive-by shootings, resulting in the death and serious, and serious injuries, sorry for the phone ringing in the background, members are also known to sell and possess illegal narcotics, Ranging from marijuana, cocaine, ecstasy, and liquid promethazine slash codeine cough syrup. So a warrant reportedly stated numerous videos featuring Big Chris, Big Briss, sorry, have been posted on YouTube for which uh, Mr. Eppinger and other documented YSL gang members wearing YSL clothing can be observed displaying firearms and throwing up YSL gang hand signs, uh, Pledging their allegiance to the gang and taunting rival gang members. So, okay, I might be wrong about the YSL, um, as in 
the record label by Thug Connection. So my bad for that. I apologize. I'm probably wrong. But Briss, Briss, you fucking up. Who knows? You could have seen yourself on YSL. It would have made sense. If you had a YSL gang in the streets, if I was thug and you was hot as fuck, I'll sign you to the YSL record labels like YSL meets YSL, nigga. But Briss, this is fucking up. First of all, the fuck, <laughs> this nigga's a marksman. Four in the shoulder, <laughs> one in the side of the head, and one in the kneecap. This nigga should be locked up. He is a menace. <laughs> or this nigga put this, like I was saying in the beginning, you gotta hire some of these savages for these, these little gun games y'all be putting in the Olympics. But anyways... In all seriousness, I hope the officer is okay. I did not want him to die like that. And it, it, it sucks because, hey, I don't know about bros music like that. But if he is really that talented, he is fucking up his position. <coughs> See, this is the thing. A lot of, like I always say this, a lot of these rappers, yeah, they're hood niggas. But they're trying to make it out the hood. They ain't trying to do this shit no more at the end of the day. They try to get on. They're trying to get popping, move their family members and their mama out the hood. And various other stuff to that nature. So I do understand. But, my, hey... Motherfuckers come from rags to riches, nigga. Hey, we still coming up. So, like I said, it is what it is. I'm not condoning this shit, but I understand. Now, personally, you trying to kill the officer. I don't know why. <laughs> that fucked up your situation. It is what it is. Between you doing that and C. Blue somehow shooting himself in the leg and also hitting the officer in the leg. But who's the fuck out of me? I don't know what the fuck y'all niggas got going on. But it sucks that y'all, like, these young little bu young guys ain't. Y'all got, like, so much potential. See, Blue, I think, like, 16 or 15, whatever the fuck. This nigga 22. But y'all young guys, y'all young cats, that if y'all really start popping and bubbling, y'all gonna be the new wave of this shit, and y'all get locked up before your prime. So it does suck about that. So we'll see what the fuck happens with him. And, yeah, we'll see what's going on. Hey, I know we've been paying attention to Memphis more because of this shit. Especially with the Young Dolph shit, like, we've been really paying. But Atlanta niggas, y'all be going up too, bro. Remember before when I was like, yo, Chicago was like, yo, that's the highest murder rate. But like, yo, now these, yo, these motherfuckers really bubbling now. It's like, what the fuck? It's like, bro, it just left Chicago and transcended other places. It's ridiculous. But yeah, that's all I got to say on this thing. What, your, what you feel, put your comments down below. Check out the links in the description. And besides all that, oh, check out the other videos I got on the channel. Besides all that, it's been your friendly neighbor, K.A. Okay? Hey, signing out for today. You hear me? Shalom, Zoom, peace, y'all. I was gang. Aye.